الحمد للہ رب العالمین وسلاۃ وسلام علی اشرف الانبیاء والمرسلین سیدنا و مولانا محمد و علی آلہ و صحبہ اجمعین اما بعد ریسپیکٹڈ ویورز برادرز اینڈ سسٹرز السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ A friend has a need without which his life is incomplete and it can be understood that if an object is divided into two units then other unit is his friend therefore without a friend his existence is half and half does not come into any definition by itself until the other part of it is also with him that is why it is not fun to live without a friend everyone who has no friend feels lonely and desolate it is as if something precious has been lost that is why man naturally seeks such a friend one who is sincere faithful honest whose love is selfless in which there is adoption and desire and who is ready to sacrifice everything for the happiness of his friend if by luck such a friend is found then a spring comes in the lawn of life the birds crack the flowers bloom and the greenery is felt as if the colors of the rainbow are scattered in the air and the blessings of the world have come the question is is it possible to find such a true and sincere friend because nowadays we do not find such sincere friends but only friends who cut the who cut the roots of the friends and the veil of friendship and make their own meaning but in this world of selfishness man has a true friend who stays with him at all time the one who is invisible but helps his friends and is engaged in doing well to them one who is powerful and authority knows how to carry out his order and has all the qualities of a sincere and faithful friend yes his friend is allah almighty the master the creator and an absolute king of the universe he is really man friend the holy quran makes mention اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الله ولي الذين امنوا يخرجهم من الظلمات الى النور والذين كفروا اولياء متاغوت يخرجونهم من النور الى الظلمات اولئك اصحاب النار هم فيها خالدون صدق الله العظيم الله از دا بروتكتنج فرند اوف دوز who believe he brings them out of darkness of disbelief to the light of guidance as for those who disbelieve their patrons are false deities they bring them out of the light of guidance unto the darkness of disbelief in other place the holy quran makes mention 
اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم امت خزو من دونه اولیاء فاللہ والولی وہو یخشی الموتا وہو علا کل شین قدیم صدق اللہ الرحیم او دے چوزن پروٹیکٹنگ فرینڈز ادر دن اللہ ان فیکٹ اللہ is alone is the protecting friend he will revive the dead and he is able to do all things another place the holy quran makes mention a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim wa in tawallaw fa'lamu anna allaha maulakum ni'ma al-mawla wa ni'ma an-nasi صدق اللہ رجیم and if they turn away then know that Allah is your befriender a transcendent patron a transcendent helper these verses reveal that Allah Almighty is the true friend of man The question is, who is the real friend and what is the extent of friendship? So, the friend is the one who says that what is mine is not mine, but my friends. And the limit of friendship is within the realm of reason and law. The answer is that what God has given to man and what he can give cannot be counted because he himself has said وَإِن تَعُدُّوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ لَا تُحْسُوهَا صَلَقَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ If you want to count Allah's blessings you will never be able to count them That is to say, his treasures of grace and dynasty are infinite, infinite and limitless. But he has also made a deal with man on the basis of take something and give something, which means give me what is dearest in your possession i will give you what is best for you but one thing that stands out from the general trade rules in this deal is that the price in that the price in the trade market is as high as the price of the goods But it is the case that the goods are already has been given by the merchant and then the buyer himself. And second, the price of the goods is too high, which is much higher than the seller expects. So Allah Almighty says in the Holy Quran, he said, undoubtedly Allah Almighty has bought from the Muslims their lives and their property in exchange for paradise. They fight in the cause of Allah in which they kill and are mortified. For this is the true promise of Allah Almighty in the Torah, in the Gospel, and in the Holy Quran. So you people rejoice in the sale you have made a deal with, and this is a great achievement. These verses are taken 
from the Surah Tawbah, verse number 111. The implication of this deed is that heaven is in exchange for life and property. So in order to get such a great friend, one have to give something first, which is based on the principle of friendship that what is mine is not mine, but my friends. It is worth mentioning that the one who complains about not finding a good friend is not a good friend in himself. Now the question is how to connect with this great friend and how to meet him because he is invisible nor can he be felt. So he himself has explained its method in the Holy Quran as أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وإذا سألك عبادي عني فإني قريب أجيب دعوة الداع إذا دعان وليستجيبوا لي وليؤمنوا بي لعلهم يشرون صدق الله العظيم When my servants ask thee about me the Holy Prophet peace be upon him where I am. I am close to them. I answer the call of the caller whenever he calls me so they should obey me and believe in me so that they may be led aright. Al-Baqarah, Surah Al-Baqarah, verse number 186. In other words, in order to meet this friend, it is necessary to call him from the bottom of the heart only once, and then it is he who will respond and help. The fact is that apart from this friend, there is no other place in the world where there is no refuge and no peace. Therefore, it is necessary for one to turn away from everything and make friendship with only one friend and become his. May Allah Almighty give us power to act upon all his commands. Ameen. Ma'alina. Il del bravo, non